Welcome to the Madhouse. Hey guys, welcome to episode 5 of the series of Purbeck Dairy Farm. <laughs> where we carry on where we let off on episode 4, we're still in the field where we've done those bales. Now yesterday when I was recording I couldn't decide whether I was going to use the telehandler to load them. But because of the hill, and it saves time, I'm going to load them up with the auto load onto the trailer. But I will manually unload them at the farm, so... Get this warmed up. I think it's 18 bales we got all together. They're nice looking bales actually, quite big. But I think it's about 18 of these we got, so hopefully we can fit all these on one load. And then we can take the, cr the grain that we've harvested for the contract back to the sell point and then get rid of that so we're have a bit more money. And then we've got another job to do, so we get transport in position. Uh, operating position. Operating position. Hopefully it's a pick it up. Hopefully. Yeah, well. Why is it doing that? Alright. Uh, reset, operating position, right. Right, time lapse coming up guys. What I do is transport these back, so I'll see you in a minute. Right guys, we're back at the farm. <coughs> I'll unload these, I'm going to store them under here for now. So, we'll I've got to find what's over there, isn't it? I parked a tractor in the way now, haven't I? Yeah, it's there.
Don't know why super strength was it enabled. Must have done it by accident, right? Um, start getting these unloaded. Short time wraps coming up, guys. Will I unload it? Right, sorry about that guys right as you may have seen for some reason those bales are sticking to that grab that i got and it's driving me insane so i just bought one of these which is there let me use a super strength to turn it around in the hope that this will grab it better it's driving me nuts with these bales. Disconnect that. And there wasn't a lot of room around the other side, so... There's not much room in here, because I've got the combine in here, but... I'm going to put these bales somewhere out of the way. Catch them on everything. I'm not better stuck in bales than this, honest. Pick that one up. At least move it over a bit. Not perfect, but they get in there.
Right. Doors again with sailors bills, but they can stay outside. Look, you went to go in that way. Oh, you son of a... I hate round bales. And it's stuck perfectly and decided to fall off. Or did I catch it on the way out? I don't remember. Try and be greedy and pick up two. Come on, get these end ones. Getting there slowly. Right, I'll time lapse the rest of it now because you've had enough of a laugh of me now, so I'll time lapse the rest.
Right. It's not pretty. The not stuck as tightly, tight, nicely as I'd like. I know we're pretty good at stacking bales. But these right these yellow these these round ones and this thing are a, these are, this is a pain in the ass. This is not meant to be for square bales, but I've never had a problem with it with round bales before. But with these ones, you just wouldn't let go of them. Right, so we've got to turn the lights off on this and we're gonna end up with a flat battery. Right. Now we've got to move this out of the way. Store our trailer here, yeah. Let's close this. Uh, we'll back the trailer in there. I could have actually stacked them here thinking about it, yeah. That's what I should have done. This is probably where I'm going to put the silage bales in there. So what we're doing next to silage bales. We're going to show the field now that we're doing. Just try to have it. There we go. Right, where's the mower? Oh, I know where it is. Right, Zimoa is in here. Right, the field we're going to mow is up here, which is, I don't know if it's the same saving. We're currently at the, f here, we're going to be doing this field. 61 and 62 is one big field. We're going to cut the grass in there. And that's going to be that's going to be silage bales. Which I'll either stack in one of the um, silage clamps, or I'll put it where they just put the trailer. Which is one big field. Actually, could could, could have gone in it. I'll go on the bottom. It's easy to get in. They got fence here, fence there, and they haven't put a fence at the bottom, which is a little strange, but. Unless the cows can come all the way down here, but then there's no gate down at the bottom here to stop the cows going out on the road. Oof. Okay, unfold that. So this is where the cow this is the field the cows come out in. Because there's the cow shed down there. There's a fence all the way along here. But no fence here. Or here. But this is for access for you to mow for the for you to mow, but there's a gate down there, I think. It don't matter. I love this map. The guys that have done this map is awesome. Right, you're gonna go around to the headland first. And then we'll come back in and do the rest. Right, then so another I know you, you're probably sick of them by now, but if you don't, if I don't do the time lapses, I'll get five minutes of field work in, in the video because it takes ages to do video, to use field work. So yeah, I'm gonna put the time lapse on, and I will see you when it's done.
There we go, that's all the grass cut. Take this back to the farm now. This is why I do the time lapses. That took me an hour to do that, to cut that grass. I still haven't taken the grain from the contract to the sell point yet. For all about that, I was going to do that before I started cutting this grass, but I got into cutting the grass in. Oh, bloody hell. Bouncy bounce. Right. There we go. Drop out off of it. Parker in the shed over it. As you can see, it is pitch black. Can't see a bloody thing with the light. I got this um, modding called Relight, which makes a hell of a difference to the graphics in the game. Anyway, that's episode five done. On the next episode, we will. First thing we're going to do is take that grain to the sell point. And then we're going to windrow that grass we just cut and bale it and put it into um, silage bales thanks for watching guys and i hope to see you on the next episode please comment rate and subscribe and i'll see you all later tizzy bays thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe